Welcome to the Zen Zone. We have the Emotion employees riding the Emotion V13 around. They are not highly geared. I don't know if Emotion gives them gear or not, but we're not seeing full-faced helmets. For those that don't know, EUCs, when you cut out or when you crash, you tend to go forward. And having that full-faced helmet protects your teeth and your chin, really. I mean, protects this part of your face. People have knocked out all their teeth. I like my teeth. I would like to take better care of my teeth. A way to take care of your teeth while you're riding is to wear a full face helmet. And honestly, they're not that expensive. Expensive. Getting all your teeth. Does em does Emotion have insurance? Would they cover all his teeth? Like he's going to be doing some off-roading in wet conditions. If he slips and hits his face on a tree, root, or branch, you can knock out all your teeth. I don't think Emotion has thought this through in terms of safety gear. That is one of the most key components when you're testing a wheel. If you're testing a new wheel, which could have faults, you're testing it, you want to wear the best safety gear. And especially if this is one of your employees, they are an asset. You need to invest in them. All right. That's my rant on safety gear. I'd like to do a little bit of Sunday, safety Sunday. Full face helmets are almost essential. If you're testing a heavy, high-powered wheel, 100% should be wearing a full-face helmet. Now, this is pretty low speeds. At low speeds, he's not going to be torquing this wheel. When you're torquing this wheel or any wheel, you're bringing your body off center line. I'm kind of demonstrating here. You're either breaking, you're either breaking hard, leaning back, or you're leaning forward over the wheel. Once you you break symmetry with the wheel, you're no longer like perfectly standing. Like he is standing perfectly over the wheel. This is simple. They call it zombie riding, right? And here, I don't know if they, maybe it's an American thing. They call it zombie riding. This is level one riding. So zombie riding, you're not torquing the wheel. It's not really aggressive riding. It's basic cruiser. He is doing some basic tests so that we can see that the wheel has a knobby tire and can off-road. I really don't like um, the sound of the suspension. I don't think it's going to be able to do jumps. Looking at this wheel. Anyone that wants to jump this wheel, I think, is insane because the, 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 the suspension is not going to be good enough for jumps. I'm almost 100% on that. I would bet money on it right now. Could be wrong. Bet money on fighters. That's my thing. I like to bet on the UFC. Sometimes I'm right. Sometimes I'm wrong. Um, I don't bet a lot. It's more for fun. Anyways, yeah, I would bet money that this is not going to be the right wheel for off-roading either. Look at these angles. Whew. Okay, so... What happened there? Guys, you have to realize this is a 100 pound plus wheel. It's more than 100 pounds. And it's also a tippy wheel. I can tell by the angle. This guy, the angle's hitting. Look how, like, look at the position of the wheel. When it's C, let's see if we can find the, when he does a bit of a turn. Looking for, like, a turn here. It's so, like, the angle, wow. Look at the angle of this wheel. And then the weight of the wheel, where can I point here? <laughs> the weight of the wheel is being held up basically by the strength of where the mouse cursor is right here. That muscle has to hold up a 100-pound wheel. Look how high up it is and the angle of that weight. It's going to be, this is going to be a top-heavy EUC. Not going to be fun to off-road. Can you off-road with it sure he's showing us that you can can you aggressively off-road with it don't know need to see it i could try i w don't think it's gonna be optimal for that i think maybe it's too top heavy and uh, it looks way too top heavy of a wheel i don't think it's gonna be off-road wheel so this is gonna be a street cruiser and that's about it that's about it that's all this wheel is gonna be it's not gonna be a stunt wheel it's not gonna be an off-road wheel it's going to be a street cruiser with quality. I think the people that I did a survey, a lot of people are interested in this wheel. I'm interested in this wheel, not as an off-road wheel. I would not buy this as off. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love this wheel, man. I love the look of it. I love the handles. Don't like the tire. The tires got to be, would have to be absolutely changed. I was talking to other people. See, oh, look at that. Look at how high and heavy. Look at the angle of this wheel. This is a top heavy wheel. Guys, if you haven't ridden a top heavy wheel, this is probably the top heaviest of wheels. So look at the angle. You had to hold 
that angle and weight up with your leg muscles. And yes, he is on loose ground, so that is a factor as well. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> that angle is a heavy angle. Wow. I love the look of the wheel. I love this as a street cruiser. The thing is, as a cruiser, you have the Master Pro coming out, which has is the same price and gets more speed and more range. So in a race, the Master Pro is probably going to win. And they're about the same weight. No, the Master Pro is heavier, I think. I think the Master Pro is heavier. It's nice to see the wheel being ridden. Would love to see it ridden by an aggressive rider. There's going to be so many things that I could see are going to break on this. Or are there going to be issues too? Um, the wheel well. This plastic thing here. This is going to... I don't think that's going to last. I don't know. It's not. doesn't look metal. Love the look of the wheel. Love the light. Love the handles. Going to be a great street cruiser. Super top heavy though. I don't think it'll be a good racer. Maybe it... Well, once the tire's changed. Once you change the tire to a street tire... Man, it's so weird. It's unfortunate. Thankfully, right? This is easy to do tire changes from what tire changes from what I've seen in other videos. Hopefully, it's easy to do tire change. First thing I would do on this wheel. Uh, oh, we're talking to some friends friends about the S22, and we think it's crazy that people are changing their stock tire because the stock tire on the S22 is phenomenal. They're changing it to like the Shinko 241, which is I don't think it's a better tire than the uh, stock tire. Um, I really like the stock tire. What are you doing with those tires? Those are good tires. Like, send them to me. <laughs> I'll take your stock S22 tire if you want to send it to me. All right. Is there any other commentary we have about this in motion V13? I love the look of the wheel. Those are the positives. I love the look. I think it's going to be a great street cruiser once you change the tire. It may be a racing wheel. I think what people like most about it is the waterproofing. Like, the idea that it's a super waterproof wheel. Oh, it easily does go up hills. That was a nice little hill. Easily went up the hill without him having to torque it. So didn't even have to take his body off the center line. So the power is there. Super stable. I mean, he's doing great now off-roading. It's when there's going to be any sort of turn. And it, you have to tilt the wheel to turn it or lean the wheel any. Then it's like, oh my gosh, you feel that weight. And you have to feel it all in one certain area of your, your legs. Really cool wheel looking wheel from the top. All right, yeah. What do you what are your guys' thoughts on the What are your thoughts on the Emotion V13? Do you think it's going to be an off-roading wheel from what I've seen? Do you want to off-road on this wheel? I mean, does this look fun to you this sort of slow-paced off-roading cruising? It, you could do that, but if there's any sort, you saw how he dropped the wheel. If there's any sort of technicality on the trail, there's going to be issues because of how top heavy it is. The Masters also top heavy with the stock tire, unfortunately. But I think this is 30 pounds it's heavier. The, it's going to be way heavier. It'll be difficult to control this wheel. Um, really would like to see the test. The test I really want to see are a heavy hill with a street tire, like a Mount Baldy sort of ride. That would be like a test I would love to see with this wheel. Any sort of uphill street with the street tire. I don't want to see the knobby tire. It's going to be way too hot, top heavy uh, with this knobby tire. The only chance for this wheel is with a street tire. So I need to see. If I'm going to pay $4,500 for a wheel, I need to see a street tire on it. I, want, I need to even feel it. That would be great if I could put a street tire, get a V13 with a street tire, feel it. Wow, this is great. I, that extra 30 pounds, no problem. It's not too top heavy with the street tire. Need to feel it. Uh, until then, I'm happy with the Master. I'm so excited to put a street tire on the Master, but I like the Shinko on it. And I, there's still a few, a little bit of off-roading I want to do before I need to start prepping for the Apple Valley races with the street tire. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Emotion employees are testing the wheel, it looks like. Not aggressively, but they are testing it. So that's good to see. And I hope they can get better safety gear. That's all I have to say. What do you guys have to say? Leaving a like does help out. And leaving a comment helps out as well. Staying in the Zen Zone. Using my affiliate links. Uh, what else do I need to shout? Oh, yeah. We got this new... Uh, Guardian Angel Series Light. So, yeah, I'm going to try this out. I haven't been riding too much at night because I don't have really good visibility at night. But now I have the Guardian Angel. 
was $100. So we'll see how it does. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.